Hi guys, this is Burke Hammerer, and uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to set up the Spartan Vortex flabberless system. Um, let's start by talking a little bit about the units, uh, a very brief um, explanation about the different units and what they do. Um, you can get a full-size Vortex. I call it full-size. It's basically a two-piece unit. Um, you have your control box and then your sensor, and they're both separate. Um, you can also get a uh, Vortex uh, Nano, which is right here. And the Nano basically is just uh, uh, the sensor and the control unit together, all in one. Um, you can get either one of these units basically with the data pot together as a combo, I guess you could say. And you can get them um, on their own, like the unit itself. So you can get, again, the two-piece or full-size unit and then the Nano, either with or without data pot. Um, if you get them like these, you can also get data pots separately. But anyway, I'm going to set the ones with data pot aside and I'm going to open um, these right here just to show you what's in the box. And here we go. So this one right here is the full system. Um, as you can see here, you get a, uh, again, you have a sensor and you have a control unit and they're both separate. Um, basically, this is exactly the same, uh, the rest of the features are exactly the same to the Nano and I'm going to go over that real quick here. Open the Nano. And this one is the, the Nano. Um, and as you can see, the Nano is just basically one single unit. So you have your sensor and your main um, control unit, I guess you could say, all in one. Whereas with the full unit, you have your control unit and your sensor separate. Now, I get questions about, well, which unit to buy? Well, well I mean, it really has a lot to do with your installation uh, requirements. Um, as opposed to other systems out there with the Vortex, the only difference is really the fact that, again, you have two separate units and you have a single unit. There's no other differences here. They both can um, uh, be set up exactly the same way. They both use the data pot for the setup. They both have, have the exact same high-end digital sensor. So you don't get a better sensor with one unit than you do with the other. You get the exact same thing. Um, both uh, units are just as resilient to vibration. Uh, they operate, in, again, in the same way, they have the same features, they can handle uh, Futaba SBOS, or they can handle the JR system, they can handle the Spectrum system, even, uh, even the Gropner system. So any radio you want to use, they, both of these units can handle it. There's absolutely nothing different about them other than the fact that, again, hardware-wise, uh, this unit has the sensor separate, this unit has the sensor built in the inside. Um, what I usually use uh, as a guide, as a reference guide, to, to, as a recommendation for people that, that are trying to decide which unit to go with is look at your installation. For example, on some of my large goblins, uh, my Goblin 700, the one that I travel with the most, I prefer to use the, uh, the unit that has the sensor separate. And the reason for this is because I can put the sensor underneath the main plate of the helicopter and then I can put the control unit onto the side and what that does is that exposes the nylon knots on the goblin that allow me to remove the boom so I can remove and reinstall the boom very very easily with, without having to move stuff out of the way so it's just a matter of convenience uh, so again it's just personal preference whatever suits your installation the best make your selection and uh, go from there 